All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one is entitled, Why We Are Killed All the Day Long. Why we are killed all the day long. And notice I put a question mark. All right, that is coming from Apostle Paul in Romans the 8th chapter. You know, he said we are killed all the day long. And, um, you know, when we come into this truth, you know, at times it feels like that. You're constantly being attacked. And you're not physically being attacked, but spiritually. That uh, makes me want to grab this precept here. Ephesians 6, you know, starting at 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, the wiles of the devil is the trickery. What's that in Sirach, the second chapter? He says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, so it's like you always being attacked in the spirit you know you be tempted you know someone can you know you know mess with your spirit to make you you know come about your character and when you come about your character guess what satan got you you know because that could lead to one thing to the next you know and, and next thing you know it's a great argument or you know it's a great some greater type of affliction that's coming because of your reactions. So it's like you always, you know, at at, at a point of wrestling, as the scripture going to say. Uh, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. And that's so true. You know, once you've woken up to this truth, all these things start to slam you, you know, in your face, you know, and you're wrestling not against flesh and blood. It says, but against principalities, which are spirits, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Who is the ultimate ruler? Well, let me say the ultimate ruler is Yahweh. All right. But I was shy. But who's the ruler of darkness of this world? That is Satan. All right. And his counterpart, Esau, Edom. And it says against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. You're, you're, you're battling against all the evilness that's around you. Everywhere you go, everywhere you look, there's always wickedness, you know, near you. There's always wickedness in whatever it is you might be striving to do right. You know, so that's why it's, 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 it's a must for us to be in prayer and being in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And as the scripture said, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Now, the evil day is approaching. This is why it's a, it's a must that, you know, examine yourself and, you know, Put, put more prayers up to the Lord, you know, be circumspect, be vigilant, you know, watching and knowing the times. All right. So, you know, that's with that being said. So let's go back here to um, why we are killed all the day long. Let's read Isaiah 59 and 13. It says, and transgressions and lying against Yahweh and departing away from our power. Speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth for far off, for truth is fallen in the streets, and equity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey, and Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him. That there was no judgment. So by departing from evil, you make yourself a prey. 
when you was in the world and you was with the shits, how they say it, you know, when you with the shits, you with the bullshit, you sinning, your iniquities piling up, you know, you felt like you was in good case. Now when you in this truth, all right, it feels like, you know, everything is against you. And it is because everything here is damn near evil. So, yay, truth faileth. Right now, right now, we're in a time where the Lord is uplifting truth to overrule over righteous. So there's a, a balance scale to where the Lord is leveling, making more heavy truth than, than the lies. You know, we're in a chain, uh, 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 what you call it, a transformation of power. All right. Esau Edom is the dark and Yasha Allah. All right. Jacob, the 12 tribes is the light through Yahweh by Shemi Shai. So, yea, truth felleth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. All right? That's why you can't get along with family members who you used to be able to get along with. You know, your woman. You know, you don't do the same things as you used to. You're not very entertaining no more. You know, you're, you're more bitter. You know, things is weird. You know, people talk about you behind your back. All right? Because why? And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And Yahweh saw it, and you better believe Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is watching everything. And it displeased him that there was no judgment. All right. So this is Romans chapter 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thou sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. You know, because why? You departed away from evilness. Evilness is going to attack you. You know, or let's say Satan is going to tempt you, I should say. Because scriptures say, do no evil and no evil shall come upon you. All right. But guess what? That don't make us all the way exempt, you know, from being judged in a harsh way by the Lord because we sinned. We hope the Lord forgive us for our sins. We sinned in our past life. So it says, as it is written, for thou sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. So it fills. But then Paul says in verse 37, no, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. All right. So we're more powerful than we actually look or, you know, we're more powerful in this word. Than we actually am, you know, because we're weak right now. You know, there we have no nation, we have no power. Our power is the word of the Lord. All right, being joint ears to Yahweh Shai. And right now, Yahweh Shai is not physically here. You know, we have his comforter, which is the spirit, the Rakakwadash. You know, but when he's physically here, you know, nobody or nothing would be able to touch us. Okay. Well, let me say it in better words, you know, even though the Lord could protect, the Lord protects us now, but we wouldn't, you know, when Yahweh Shai get back, we would be in good case. Our bodies would be changed. All right. Everything would be in order, you know, and we wouldn't have to worry. You wouldn't have to fight anymore. Every day there's a fight. So it says, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. And that's why we call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. To fight the battles that we got to go through. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.